Okay. Okay. Hey guys, welcome Hello. back to our channel. Hello. So I just wanted to basically post a video because you guys know that we usually try to post every Monday and Thursday, but we haven't posted in a while. First of all, we went to post for Thanksgiving, but I really like I have footage from Thanksgiving, but I never really truly completed it enough to make a full vlog because this is the first Thanksgiving I've been back with my family in almost eight years. Um, so it was just something where I wanted to live in the moment and kind of enjoy Thanksgiving. Even at my aunt's house, we kind of set up the tree and put ornaments on the tree and decorated and everything. So it was just like really nice to enjoy that with them because I haven't had that moment in a while. And we was throwing down in the kitchen cause like, Leaky was whipping it up, I was whipping it up, man. We was frying chicken, everything. It was just a lot. So um, basically I just wanted to apologize for that, but I did have a vlog already edited and done for today. But of course you guys know how um, you have to do kind of like the finishing touches. And I was going to um, do the finishing touches, but I'm just not really in the mood today. So I've been going through kind of a couple, well, I've been going through this for like two or three weeks now, but I didn't want to say anything because it was just like, I don't know. I didn't want to think negative or anything like that, but we took the baby to the pediatrician October 25th um, just for standard shots and a blood draw where they check the lead levels. You guys know when they pinch their little fingers, but so her leg came back normal, but the doctor was worried because they said that her white cell count was low. So I'm just like, okay. So me being a doctor, I know that sometimes there are um errors with you know the way it could be technique the way we drew the blood or just it happens artifact so i'm thinking like okay maybe it's that so because of that initial low white count they wanted to do a subsequent blood draw so corey took her in november 6th to get a second blood draw um done via the vein um so it was most much more accurate than a stick would be and so i had to call my daughter's pediatrician you know a week straight and Corey called as well. We still didn't hear anything back. So I'm in the meantime freaking out. I'm thinking about all the stuff that it could be, you know, worried and my mind is going everywhere. I'm worried about some things that I don't even want to say out loud because that would crush me. Exactly. But um, so I'm I'm stressed, I'm worried. So today I was like, you know what, enough. Like Corey Allen and I have been calling them, no answer. So I called today, the same thing. Oh, um, you know, we'll call you back basically. So today I just called back again after she said that and I said, listen, I've been waiting for a week now to get these results. They actually called me at work and she was like, I just wanted to remind you that Corey has an appointment December 19th. And I said, oh, that's nice to know. So how about her blood work that I've been waiting to hear about, hear back about? Exactly. So she said, oh, I wasn't even calling you about that. I said, well, you should be because that's something I've been waiting for. So long story short, she said, yes, her blood count was even lower than the first time. So at this point, you guys, I'm going crazy. Like I am freaking out. I called Corey um, just to tell him and he was, he was, he started freaking out. This boy done stressed clean the whole house. Um, so it's just something that's like, it really was emotionally draining for me today because I couldn't be there for my baby because I had to work today and I wasn't gonna leave work. But it just stressed me out because I'm like, I just always feel like, I don't know, like I can't be there with her. But long story short, so I called back and I said, I would like to speak back to the nurse because I wanted like exact numbers. What is it, like how far, you know, I wanted the logistics. So I called one more time. I'm sorry, the nurse isn't available. I'm sorry, the doctor isn't available. So I said, you know what, at this point, I just spoke my mind. Those of you who don't know me, I am really nice and it does take a lot for me to go there. But for this one, I will. So I basically, no hesitation. I will like, so basically I just said, ma'am, this is not practicing good medicine at all. Like I have been waiting for God knows how long to, uh, to, to get these results back. The only reason I even got results back is because I hounded you guys. I would have never got anything back. So after I said that, I said, I really want specific numbers. I want to know what's going on. I want to know what's going on. Because the lady earlier that I had spoken to told me that she needed to see a hematologist. Now, that's a specialist. And sometimes they do specialize in uh, cancer and things of that nature. So I'm worried. 
And that's all they told me? Oh, you need to see a hematologist. No, that's not enough. I need to know more. So I said, this is ridiculous. Y'all, all y'all told me was I need to make an appointment with a hematologist. That's all y'all told me. And that her, her, her count is abnormal. I need answers. And I know as a doctor, when I call my clients back, I answer all the questions they have. I don't even make my clients wait a day for blood work. The moment I get it, I'm calling them on my lunch period, whatever. And I know we're all busy. I know MDs are busy. You, I'm, I'm busy, but it's a, it's a month's baby. So you're never too busy to just do that. But anyway, so the hematologist. So I, I just said, you know what? Okay. I called back again. I, you guys, I didn't care. Today, I just did not care. I called back again. This is all while I'm at work, mind you. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So I called back again. And then this time, the receptionist, she said, let me put you on hold. I want you to, I'm going to see if you can speak to the nurse. I said, okay, that's fine. Your doctor comes to, because I said, I want to speak to a doctor or a nurse. The doctor herself came and answered the phone. She said, hey, Dr. Reed, I'm so sorry that this has been going on. It's been miscommunication on my end, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I was just like, well, can you explain to me what's going on with my child? Because I've been waiting to hear. And I was like, you can talk to me in the terms that I'm used to. You don't have to sugarcoat or dumb anything down for me. What's going on with her? So she basically explained that her absolute white count percentage is low, but her total white count is normal. And you guys, I was so stressed out. I didn't know what was going on. Everything bad was going through my head. So, I mean, she said that all her other blood work was, was okay, but that I needed to verify that she's truly okay by doing another blood draw, which we'll do December 19th. So I say all that to say, you guys, I'm sorry that I haven't been posting. Um, between the holidays and between um, today of just the stress and emotional just I just I, I I I was I was not in I wasn't well today, you guys. Wasn't in the mood. And I'm sorry about that. I will be posting Monday, and I'm gonna have a surprise for you guys because I'm starting something new, and I'm excited to get you guys' feedback. But Monday, I'll have I'll be posting my first ever episode of um, pure vet related content. So I'm excited for that. But you guys are gonna just have to forgive me for this week. I'm sorry I didn't post. Um, I'm just I'm you guys I'm 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 burnt like I'm at my wits end. If it's not my job pulling me in a thousand directions, it's having to worry, is my baby okay? Is she going to be okay? You know what I mean? Like, any mom knows that is the worst thing that you can go through. So, I just thought it respectful enough to just sit down and at least give an explanation. And I know that I don't have that many subscribers, but you know what? If I had one subscriber, I feel like I owe you that much. If I have one loyal follower, I owe you that much to tell you. That is the reason why I'm not posting and I, my word is my bond, so I apologize for that. Um, but again, Monday, there will be something going up and our channel is, you know, we're trying to better it. I'm trying to give you guys more of what you want to see, which appears to be more vet related content. So I will be starting that Monday and I'm kind of excited to see like the response that gives. But I just wanted to say thank you guys. For those of you who do watch, thank you. And, you know, I'm just happy and grateful that you guys are in my life. And just send a prayer up for my baby. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm trying to stay positive right now because I know that everything is in God's control. And I don't think that, you know, he will let me down. And Lord knows my whole world will fall apart if I didn't have her. So, yeah, just continue to say your prayers. And I'll keep you guys updated on this development. Hopefully, December 19th, her blood draw is good. If not, we'll have to go to the hematologist, and I'll obviously take you guys along that journey with me, but hopefully it's okay. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Turn your notification bells on so you always know when my family posts a video, and until next time, bye. Also, share the video. Share it to everybody. Don't care who. Just share it. Just, go just throw it out there. Yeah, she just wanna. She she's just mobile. But I was this, trying to keep her entertained. But this one is, is not really a vlog. It's more like, look at her. She about to destroy everything. Yep, of course. This one's not really a vlog. It's more like. It's like getting off your chest. Okay. But all the videos y'all like. This is actually a cool setup where we can like talk about relationship stuff. No one wanna hear. Everybody if you wanna, wanna hear about relationships. If you wanna hear about relationships. <laughs> Put it comment in the comments. Below, like it. If you want to hear, my husband and I have been married for four years. We've been together for seven. We met in college. And I think we have, a, you know, some pretty good relationship stuff dealing with the baby. I'm just trying to give y'all what y'all want to see at this point. And with also giving y'all what y'all want to see. Y'all want to see me get my hair done. Y'all want to see me get my hair done. Y'all want to see me get my hair done.
decent people decent to kids. keep it with, to kick it with. What? We are lit. All day, every day. But besides that, please subscribe, like, leave comments on what you want to see on our channel. Just hit us up, fam. You know who we are. Deuces. Alright, Say bye, my boo-boo. Say bye, my boo-boo.